Hey guys, Mohan Pober here and today I'm going to share with you some of my thoughts about probably one of the best books out there that opened my eyes, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, but I'm going to give you a very different perspective on things uh, from someone who's an investor who's buying businesses and how I look at some concepts from the book and how you can apply them to your life right away. I don't care what stage you're at. So let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Mohan Pober and I'm here to share and document my journey in business. I've been involved in more than 10 businesses over the last few years. I made money, lost money. I'm here to share with you some of my lessons, some of my mistakes, what worked for me, what didn't work for me. And especially open your eyes because no one out there is talking about it, about the fact that you can grow a business not just in the, I guess, regular conventional wisdom way, which is going out there, bringing more sales, more, uh, and basically doing more marketing and cutting costs. The other way to grow is by acquisitions, by going out there and buy other businesses, buy our competitors, buy complementary businesses, and you don't need millions of dollars in the bank. So both ways are good ways to grow a business, but I think that growing by acquisitions is definitely faster. And in my opinion, it's the fastest way to get you from a point, from the point of being an owner manager operating the day to day all the time to becoming an owner investor where you have a team running the business for you and you're just responsible for setting the vision and I guess the next steps for your business. So that's what this channel is all about. Subscribe if you didn't yet. It really helps me. I promise you won't regret it. And I'm posting videos daily. So hit the notification button and comment below. Let me know what you think, what your thoughts are about Rich Dad Poor Dad if you read that book. Otherwise, yeah, let's get to what I think about that book. So Rich Dad Poor Dad, probably one of the best books that really changed my paradigm when I was, I think like 17 years old, that's when I read it. And there's nothing, after you're in business for many years, there's nothing like insane in that book. But for someone who never was in business, who no, have no business experience, that business can really change the way that you look at things. I think one of the main things that you can take from the business is first of all that you don't need to be born an entrepreneur like if you didn't sell lemonade when you were like 12 it doesn't mean that you can't become financially free an entrepreneur a business owner or just an entrepreneur investor after a few years you, it's, it's a skill that you can learn and another really things that i think it's really important in this in this book to to really pay attention to is the fact that it all comes down to your mindset i don't care who you are, what your background, what your skills are, unless you have the right mindset, you, you won't be able to be successful. Now, another thing that I really liked in that book is the fact that there's, there are basically two types of people in the world. One of them is people who work for money, who basically trade time for money. They go out there to their jobs um, and they're working 40, 60, 70, whatever hours a week they work and they trade every hour for their money. And that's one way. And in, in the same category, you can also include business owners who basically have a job, you can say, inside their business. Because they're not really business owners. They're not really looking at things from an outside perspective. They are involved in the day-to-day, -day menial, greedy, repeatable tasks all the time. So that's the first type of people, basically people who work for money. The other way is to basically let money or other people work for you. Now, don't get me wrong, you most likely need to start here, no matter what, but eventually you want to transition to that place where money is working for you as soon as possible. And it means that you basically have assets that producing cash flow for you on a regular basis or what they call in the book passive income. I don't like that, uh, I guess, the, 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 the saying passive income too much because even if you have a business and you run it, you always need to, f I guess, literally leave that business and feel it and understand what's going on with it. Even if, you, even if you have a management team running that business for you and all you need to do is have a one call a week with them, unless you really, uh, I guess, what's the word I'm looking for? You, you can never really forget about it completely. And that's why I think the, 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 that saying passive income, it's completely wrong because it makes people feel that they can just do the work once and then forget about work for life. I think you gotta change your attitude from First of all, getting to a point where doing a work is something fun and you will eventually understand, especially for some of you guys who are not making enough money yet, you'll eventually understand that money isn't going to make you happy. And you'll find out that most likely the things that you, for some of you, you're hating to doing right now, it, you'll, it'll come full circle when you're going to change your mindset and who you are. And it will come to a full circle when you really like that work and you understand that what really going to make you fulfilled is the, I guess, the creation of things, the expression of yourself 
and going out there and impact people. Well, that's what's really going to make you fulfilled. And when you're doing those activities, it doesn't feel like work. It feels like just fun and, and basically work and, and play just, I guess, get, get combined and you can't even feel the difference. It's literally, for me right now, I love working because it's the best way to express myself. There's only so much you can be. Like even if you have hundreds of businesses making you millions of dollars passive income, there's only so many pina coladas you can drink on a beach. It becomes boring in the end of the day. You gotta do something. We are here for a short period of time in this life and you find out that every second that you put in out there expressing yourself and, and just contributing or, or just giving something back to the world, that's how you can be really fulfilled. And that's, I think in the end of the day, it's important to understand that, but also remember that um, you want to get to a point where basically money is working for you. And you, you just ask yourself, like, if you're going to stop working right now, how many months can you survive without working? And that's real financial freedom. Like if you can stop working now and you don't need to work for money anymore, but money is still coming in from businesses, from real estate, from stocks, all those different investment opportunities, then you're basically financially free. And that's one of the main things that I took from the book is to get to a point where you can invest money or do whatever you can to have those assets bring in cash flow to you which is going out there and basically get access to assets like real estate like businesses like this uh, basically stocks out there and when you have enough of those assets you'll get to a point where they can pay to your lifestyle and they can basically make you more money than you'll make in just a regular job or working and trading time for money and that should be your goal and that's, in my opinion, the, the, the best thing that I got from that business. It really opened my eyes to what's even possible. I remember when I was young, I, I wasn't sure where should I go. So in the book, he's talking about going out there, investing in assets like real estate, like businesses, like stocks. And I can tell you that right now where I'm in life, I can 100%, I'm 100% certain that businesses is the way to go just because the leverage is unlike anywhere else. Like there's only so much leverage you can have in real estate and I'm not even talking about stock. You can't go out to a bank and get a loan to buy those stocks. Like no one will give it to you. With businesses, you can do an ama amazing things. You can take money from financial institutions and you can even, the beauty with business is that you're working with people. Many times it's all about the people. You can work with someone, with the seller, the someone who's looking to sell the business for you and get insane leverage using things like seller financing or uh, earnouts or different negotiation strategies, which basically means that you don't need to put many times none of your own capital to buy multi-million dollar businesses, that for many people, all you need is just one good business to become financially free and not have to work for money anymore. That's the beauty in business, in my opinion. That's, in my opinion, why that's the best assets to invest. I think investing in real estate and stocks, there's something good there as well it's more about i guess maybe you could say it's more for sure thing because obviously there's you can say more risk in business but in the end of the day the businesses that we're looking for at least are businesses that exist for at least five or ten years so they basically skip their startup phase already and we go to them so that's at least the way that i looked at things i think that buying existing businesses or buying existing assets if it's real estate or stocks or businesses is the best way to go and become financially free the fastest and that's what the book is all about and if you want to learn how to do that i think it's first of all just much better than starting a business from scratch and there's nothing wrong about starting a business from scratch it's just there's only so much you can grow and the risk there is just too much in my opinion so if you want to learn how to do that you want to explore if buying businesses or growing your existing business by acquisitions is for you go to moanpaber.com forward slash quiz and you can see the details there and we, are, we have free Facebook groups and all of those other cool free value. Other than that, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet. Hit the notification button. And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.